Hello, thank you for joining us, The Blobber, as we play our new Blue Blob campaign. We are irritating him and we want to watch out, because if he actually comes for us, I need to run away. Yes, I need to run away. So we go up here, we go up here, and once he finishes that one, we'll leave one to do that, but otherwise we just GTFO. And we'll reposition over that side. Now what we could do is try and trap him on the island. Are you going to follow me? Uh, no. Oh yes. We can trap him on the island. Yo, run away. And they're both here. And they are trapped. Good. With a hundred of their units. <laughs> out of seven, eight, nine, ten. So a hundred of their 110, 120 ish, are now trapped on this island. Forever boned. In fact, we are going to come back and make sure they never get them off by guarding this side with a fiery jealousy. been useful for once. In a manner that surprises us all. Remaining rebels? Funj, Medrivari, Livonian. Livonian are I imagine because... No, they're because of that. And I can't do anything about that at the moment. What I can do is have these combine and bring most of them across. Yo! No desieging that. Now, we were strongly considering trying to punch the Teutonics back out of Poland to decrease Poland's strength, because they've just quite frankly gotten too big. See what that does to the trade value. 5.1 goes to also get them to do this by putting a fort here and then they'll come and try and get the fort and as long as you uh, trap them here they'll still stay trapped because they need to control both sides to escape. So the escape mechanics, the improvements to the straight crossings are still not foolproof. That is to say the AI is still a bigger fool than them. Troll -la 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 -la. Go pick up that group. Q with your lucky roll.
Now he's actually had some garrison reinforcement here, but at least it will be less than a thousand and so fall swiftly. Now is Liege actually doing something? Like I paid for some units and yet I haven't seen them anywhere. Although I also paid for some units from you and you haven't done anything. But being bitter about it isn't going to help. Get that one, then that one, then we'll work on these. We're in no rush. Their army is trapped and useless. There is nothing that they can do to oppose us. Yoink, hop off. Also, Muscovy, what the hell are you doing that you're so useless? They must be somewhere. Admin! Leave one. Kill and keep moving. Poodle! I have no idea if that's where the dogs come from. I sincerely hope not. I would hate to have to blame Poland for those terrible things, and I thought they're French. I thought they are very French. <clears throat> now we've got a colony that's close enough to finishing to warrant sending another one. But we've finished this, so we will continue working on Sulawese. <clears throat> Memo finishes. Now. The other problem is that these won't have real rebels, because Poland... Because the Teutonics aren't a true nation. They aren't a um, cultural-based nation. They... Don't get to have rebels of their kind. <clears throat> now maybe you hate Poland? And maybe you will attack them when their friends no longer honour? stupid friends, even though you love me, even though we're at war. No stupid friends. No. Also give me war reps and your money. <clears throat> and we'll re-improve with him, because bonus poke points are lovely, even when we've got basically nothing to do with them except that. And that. Thank you.
smush. Speed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I will accept your peace. If you give up your stupid alliances. No way. Not be allowed off that island. Good. I should go back to what? Oh, piecing out him and then improving with my bitch. So, no stupid allies for you. Give me your money, give me your money, that'll do. In fact, I maybe should have vassalized him and then eaten Wallachia. But I kind of don't need to go do that. Um, now, what were we doing? We were re improving with Iraq. Come down and get that one. Now, when he's willing to eject the Teutons. I might consider letting him free. Oh, we've hit the uh, milk cap again. I'll take that a bit early. When is the next idea group? Not too far away. I'd rather the extra speed. As for these... Fix. Fix. And... There's maybe somewhere over here that we can go like, we'll fix that once that one finishes. Both of our generals are dead now. Go and get that stack killed. You've won. Yep, that was the conversion, so we go do this one. Yeah, we've got three and the fourth one is on the way. So close. <clears throat> Almost finished improving with... No, we're only halfway through the Pope.
Not very good. Don't care. Crush that one too. Move up. Disbanded his army. So maybe it's time to look at piecing him out. If you release the Teutonics. Good. That will cost them a whole lot to retake. <clears throat> and without the help of Lithuania, it should be a fair bit more difficult. As for the Lithuania, we want to start transferring all those provinces over to Muscovy. Do our last little send off until we've got every single one. And then who do we do after this? 60. We go do... No one. We're good. We're finally good. We can go to Sweden a little bit. Yeah, we go to Sweden in a little bit. But till then we just let our manpower recover a bit. So these two come up for our Sweden. And who else? Ottomans, Tuscany, QQ, Afghanistan, Cyprus, Papal State. No, 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 no. I think we just go here and then we walk those guys home. Same with this one. Or we leave them here to do the next set of Lithuania. <clears throat> Come home that's about to finish and then we're going to peace out. Juju! of anything that is ours as yours. Money, the end. Local 30 is better than everywhere 15. Same deal here. Go back to fixing with a Pope. Maybe try and invest. See if I can't win. Use that to do an excommunicate war against Lithuania. Other than that, we just sit back and watch our manpower recover for a while. We've done an excellent job of slowly feeding this way from Muscovy, but we haven't really done anything with regards to... Oh my god, he has a friend! Yes! Yes! Huh? Oh, you've allied there. Because you're historical friends. And he's joined a trade league. Good for him. So hopefully... That's enough that 
Oh, well, I can fabricate here and use that as the pretext for getting at war with them. So we abandon everything else for getting a claim here and getting two claims there. I'm not even going to be able to do that because they're so expensive. Unless I co-belligerent them, but if I co-belligerent them, I think it calls in the Emperor these days. I don't think you can get around the... Unless I called them in. Unless I called the Emperor in here, and then he might join on my side before he joined on the other side. I'm not sure. Wait. Keep fixing these islands. So we're doing that one. Actually, ah, one of these missionaries is about to finish, then we'll do this one. Now how long will that take? A year. And how long until these trigger? About a year. So we'll just have to watch if it hits 90, we'll click the button. Otherwise we won't have to. And might as well let that last missionary finish as well. There we go. Go and do one more of these. <clears throat> Say that one. Cool. In any case, it's time to end the episode. So this episode, we went to war with Poland. Oh, we finished off the war with Poland Lithuania for a nice big chunk to feed Muscovy, which he's begun coring, or at least most of it. He hasn't begun coring that one. Uh, and we... Because Poland are being too big and strong, we decided that it's probably worth it to punch out this 100 or so development from them. How big are they now? Yeah, punching 100 development out of them has made them a fair bit weaker. For 500 down to 400, uh, and it has importantly given us a way of getting at war with Lorraine, because he has now got an ally, and we will share a border. Um, cool, so thank you for joining me, I hope you've enjoyed watching, and will join us again soon. Bye-bye.